Okay, so when you've finished creating your planets, you should have four in total plus the sun, making five spheres. Um, hopefully you've made sure that you've created them perfectly along the x-axis. If not, um, change your translate values to make sure they've only moved on the x-axis and make sure they're all different shapes. But also importantly, this should be called sun and the rest should be planet and planet one, planet two and planet three. Um, if they're not called that by default, you've probably not duplicated them, which you should have done. Um, but this is the stage that you should be up to before continuing. And the next thing that we're going to do is um, to add a moon to one planet and a ring to another. So I think this planet's a nice size here for adding the ring to, and this one's nice and big, so this one can have a moon. So to create the moon, Control and D to duplicate it. I need to just bring that out so that it's not inside it. And then I'm going to scale that down to something like 0 .2, um, I think. Okay, 0 0.02 is what I meant. Let's see how big that ends up being. Um, so, 0 0.02. Nice and small, I like it. And then I'm just going to put that into orbit like so and then I'm going to rename that moon okay so far so good <clears throat> now the next step is to create the ring and for that we're going to use um, Taurus now its proper name is Taurus I prefer to call it the donut um, for obvious reasons so I'm just going to select that now again this is important to make sure you get it the right size don't just drag it on the grid um, I want you to just click once somewhere on the grid to make sure that all the proportions are right. Um, I want it in the default proportions. So I'm just going to click, and there we go. We have a rather tasty looking donut. And then we need to change some of the values to make this look like a ring that would go around a planet. So in the inputs for Polytorus 1, we need to change the y axis to 0 0.2. In fact, the y axis is up here. So scale on y. 0.2 there we go and then hit enter it's gone nice and thin but it's not thin enough in these dimensions yet so to do that we need to change the section radius so in there that's going to be changed to 0.2 as well wonderful now all you need to do is position that around your planet and scale it to make sure it's the right size so I'm going to make sure that the translate value here is 0 on the z-axis so that I know that it's in a perfect line and then I just need to match the ring to this on the x-axis so that's 4.884 so for this one I change it to 4.884 as well it should be perfectly centered around that planet which it does appear to be and then that just leaves one more step which is to scale it make sure you scale it in all three directions by grabbing the center manipulator and then when you're happy with it let's just frame that up make sure that it looks okay how, how small dare I go I think like that that looks okay so there we go we've now got a ring around that planet so I'm just going to rename that Taurus ring and then that's that step complete